Today is January the 29th, 2024. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. There's no news on a Bloodborne Remaster day. We're going to make this quick because I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning for work tomorrow. Um, so, I didn't mention it yesterday, but Dragon Ball Sparking Zero got, or Tenkaichi 4, got a new trailer yesterday. And it showed just basically the transformations and the forms. And it showed the roster of like 126 characters. And everyone got so excited. Oh my god, it's such a big roster. But then you look at it and you see that they're counting the separate forms that you transform into as characters. So, like... Yeah, oh man, Z Xenoverse and Tenkaichi, oh, they had like 120-something characters. Yeah, but these are like characters is the thing. I know some of these are counted as separate slots, but for the most part, it's characters, you know? In this game, we're counting the separate transformations as slots. So, what, uh, half the roster is going to be Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan? <laughs> or Trunks? Like, come on now, come on. Um, but it looks good nonetheless. Uh, giants are back playable finally. Can't wait to play as Grade 8 Baby and just dominate everything again. Um, let's see, anything else to go? Oh yeah, State of Play. I forgot State of Play. State of Play got uh, announced for today for Wednesday at 5 p.m. my time, and it's gonna be 40 minutes long. I think this is the longest State of Play ever, and we've already like well, it's already been confirmed that we're gonna have Rise of the Ronin, Stellar Blade, some PSVR games. Hideo Kojima is basically confirmed to be there with Death Stranding too, because he posted the thing. He posted the state of play on his Instagram. He's gonna be there. Um, this is also the 27th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII, so I'm thinking that Rebirth is there as well with a demo. So I'll probably see that at work, and then on the drive home, I'll use the app to set it to download, so I can play it when I get here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to play. I guess, no, it's Wednesday. I won't be at work Wednesday. Oh, huh, well, you know, I'll be home for that. Um, Yeah, but I will be working Thursday, so hopefully I can get it to download fast. Uh, but yeah, so I am hoping to see some cool stuff at the State of Play. Uh, I'm hoping we get a good Rebirth trailer. Maybe actually see Sid and Vincent in action. I know they're not playable, but I'd still like to see how they function in combat, whether they're um, Red 13 or whether they're more like Sonon from the DLC. So we will have to see. Um, I don't think there is a ton else to go over today. Oh, Suicide Squad is out, I guess. Or as far as I know, like all I saw on Twitter was that, oh, this game is so optimized, man. We worked so hard on it. And then it was like, what, 20 minutes after the game went live, the servers had to be shut down because people were logging into the game and had all and had like full progress as if they'd already finished it. Oh, that's funny. I hope this game f just crashes and burns, man. Rocksteady is so washed up. Uh, anyways, I guess that's about it. There's no news on a Bloodborne. Re oh, I guess there. I guess I can shout it, shout him out. Uh, the homie Nerd Nation made another really good video. I don't agree with his, uh, a lot of his points in it, as I did in my Spider. As I, you know, made my points in my Spider-Man video. But he made a really well done video on Spider-Man Two. Uh, go check it out. I will link it in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. There is no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today. That's been your daily Bloodborne Remaster update for January the 29th, 2024.